Really quickly, I actually had this video done last week and I already planned to drop it today, but I had to make one quick edit because two days ago, Lil Nas X actually showed love to the channel. First and foremost, man, really appreciate that. You definitely didn't have to do it and the fact that you did shows that you're a real one. And not only is it big for the channel, it makes you an inspiration for the artists, producers, and other business people that follow it. Wish you much success to you in your career, bro. Brand man community, let's put some bows in the comments for Lil Nas X. What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brandon Man Sean, and we got to talk about why Lil Nas X is so great. And even though things are going so well, what could be a huge threat to his career and something all artists have to think about? Now, first and foremost, this video is not necessarily about Old Town Road, but if you know who Lil Nas X is, then you probably have heard old town road viral hit the thing is super catchy created a little bit of controversy in terms of being pulled off the billboard charts in the country section all that good stuff but what's so great about that track is it's another reminder that in this era all it takes is one track to bring attention to everything else you have going on and this is why Lil Nas X is so great and why he's in such a good position right now Lil Nas X didn't just start posting music, he's been posting music for a decent amount of time and when the song that a lot of people would think and consider as a troll blew up, Old Town Road, ended up having the same effect as Doja Cat's Moo, I'm a Cow song. When that blew up, a lot of people saw her for the first time thinking, yo, who's this troll? This girl's hilarious. But then when they started to see the rest of the music, they were like, yo. This girl's a real artist, she's super dope. The same thing is happening right now when it comes to Lil Nas X. If you go listen to this dude's music, this dude has a lot of really good music, a lot of catchy music. Maybe it might not be your style, but for the style of what it is, Yo, this, this dude is hitting, man. He got some slaps. And the great part about it is this other music legitimizes him to a lot of people who thought of him as just this country rap guy who trolled with this song, who has this type of music. You can really get a sense of who he is for real, for real, through the rest of the music. Like in songs like Carry On, he actually goes pretty deep talking about some of his struggles, some of the things that kind of put him in a depressed state. And then in songs like Nazarati and Sonic, they're fun, they have great flows, and you can ride to them. And he has a lot of those songs. This means the fact that Old Time Road blew up created a lot of real fans to, for him. A lot of people have gone back, checked his music out and said, yo, this dude is like for real legit. And I know OG fans like to hate on people who come in new, but it should be that way. Everybody's not going to discover everybody at the beginning. But let's talk about the threats that comes to Lil Nas X's career at the same time. If you look at how he put things up, yeah, he hacked things together a lot of times, right? There's the visualizers, which are basically just videos that are using clips from the things that he's talking about or relate to the subject of his song in some way. Just like Sonic shit, he uses Sonic the Hedgehog clips. In Old Town Row, he used clips from Red Dead Redemption and so on and so on. The only real music video I've seen for him is the Carry On video where he's standing in the graveyard. And in the same way he used a lot of other people's visuals, he also, from what I've heard, use a lot of samples. Everything I pretty much have heard from him has been a sample. So when you hear some of these songs and you're like, yo, this is super dope, I wanna listen to it all the time because they're on YouTube, and then you try to go to Spotify and iTunes, they're not on there. And of course, if you know anything about when it comes to Apple Music and Spotify and things like that, those are avenues where you are making money on it for sure when it's on those platforms. And if you don't own the music, especially when it comes to samples, samples can get tricky, you gotta get them cleared, then it creates a problem. I guarantee he would have far more streams and listen to his music if it was able to be put on Spotify. When I first looked at his Spotify, he only had Old Town Road and the Old Town Road remix. Now on April 10th, Sonic shit was posted, that got cleared up. But Sonic shit was actually be used by Lil Yachty and done by Digital Nas, which is actually a funny coincidence because it, first of all, if you guys don't even know who Digital Nas is, he's a really dope producer out of Atlanta, but Nas is actually his real name. When it comes to Lil Nas X, Nas is not his real name, but it's funny that the producer's Nas and the artist is also Nas. Maybe it was meant to be. Shout out to Digital Nas, by the way. He was actually one of the headliners at my music festival last year, but back to Lil Nas, this guy has a great 
set of music that he's able to rap over, which makes him a little bit unique as well. If you listen to all of his songs, the production is so different, but he knows how to fit in the pocket of each. And this is what makes his career so promising, in my opinion, because at the end of the day, like it feels like this guy could make another one. He has banger after banger after banger. It's been a while since I've retroactively looked at a new artist's music and just seen so much music that really hits that spot. So right now, to me, He's at a standpoint where it's like, yo, you got this hit that actually brought attention to the rest of your music, which is actually really dope as well. So you have a lot of fans, but you're not able to actually maximize on most of your music because it doesn't seem like it's clear. That's the only reason I can imagine that so much of it isn't on Spotify so much outside of the fact that he might just be a kid who didn't think to do it. But at this point, I think there's enough people with a knowledge around him to that they would have put it on there if they were able to. But whatever's going on at this point that's holding up a lot of the songs from being maximized, at this point, I really do believe that he can make another hit and that's one of his biggest advantages. He has the ability to make something catchy. It's not the first song that combined country and rap or even doing a more rap version of country. It's not the first in that space or category, but he caught one. Now it's time to just see what he's going to do with it. Can't wait to see what Buddy does. Would love to know what you guys think about Lil Nas X as well. Have y'all listened to his music? And if you haven't, check it out. Like, for real. If you're the type of person who likes that type of music, trust me, you're going to be like, yo, he's that dude. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.